Well, Rochester's Police Accountability Board is speaking out following last night's heated budget meeting with City Council. Isabel Garcia joins us live from the Public Safety Building with more insight from the PAB. Isabel, what did you learn about all this? Yes, good evening, John. There are certainly a lot of moving parts to this story, but what PAB's Chief Investigator Dwayne Bosco told me is given all of these issues and setbacks, the senior leadership at PAB should actually be applauded for their ability to work through these trying times. Now, PAB says it shares the frustrations with City Council and the public of not being able to start taking complaints yet. As discussed during that budget hearing last night, some of the issues they are citing include delays in the case management system. System. That is the software which had had to be approved by the mayor, which will be used to create the infrastructure for the independent agency to take on those investigations. I'm told it is in the works and once integrated, staff all need to be trained. We acknowledge that there were there have been internal missteps and um, to that point that they were unilateral decisions that were made internally that didn't consult with senior staff, uh, specifically when it comes to the case man management system, the case management system. Um, and additionally, when it comes to the prioritizing of hiring public officials um, in that department, And that even included what Bosco says, the mundane topic of selecting a physical location for the agency to operate out of. And still ahead at 5 and 6, hear about how the PAB is planning to move forward to get back on track. For now, we'll send it back to you in the studio. Reporting live in Rochester, Isabel Garcia, News 8. Isabel, thank you. The PAB board also issued an open letter this afternoon on its website. We'll be sure to put that in this article on our website at rochesterfirst.com.